Mass clearing can be done using one of two methods. The first method of mass clearing, you will be asked to remove or flood your mask. Continue to breathe calmly on scuba while you redon your mask. Once your mask is replaced, grab one side of your mask with one hand. You will then look up towards the surface and break the bottom seal of your mask just slightly by applying pressure with that hand. At the same time, you will exhale through your nose. If you are not successful removing all water, then repeat as many times as needed until complete. Once your mask is clear, give your instructor an OK to let him know you are ready to move on to the next method of mask clearing. The second method of mask clearing, you will again be asked to remove or flood your mask. Continue to breathe calmly on scuba while you redon your mask. Once your mask is replaced, you will again look up towards the surface. Using the palm of your hand at the top of your mask, apply pressure. Then you exhale forcefully through your nose. This will force the water out of the bottom of your mask. If you are not successful on the first attempt removing all water, then repeat as many times as needed until completed. Once your mask is clear, give your instructor an OK. Regulator Retrieval and Regulator Clearing There are two methods of regulator retrieval and two methods of regulator clearing. The first method of regulator retrieval is the reach back method, ensuring you blow a constant stream of bubbles anytime the regulator is out of your mouth. When directed to do so, you will remove the regulator from your mouth. You will then throw the regulator over your right shoulder. You will then reach back to the first stage and grab the intermediate hose and trace it to the second stage. You will then execute the first method of regulator clearing, which will be the forceful exhalation method. Once the regulator is back in your mouth, forcefully exhale into the mouthpiece. This will ensure any water in the second stage is forced out through the exhaust ports. Then cautiously inhale and begin breathing on scuba. Anytime the regulator is removed from your mouth and replaced, you must reach back to the first stage and trace that intermediate hose back to the second stage to ensure that you do not have a fouled intermediate hose and give the instructor an okay. This signifies to the instructor that you are breathing on an unfouled regulator. The second method of regulator retrieval is the sweep method. To conduct this, you must be in the prone position. You will remove the regulator from your mouth and throw it over your right shoulder. You will then lean to your right, allowing the regulator to drop while making a sweeping motion with your right arm down along your right leg and out to your right side to catch and sweep the intermediate hose. Once recovered, replace the regulator in your mouth. The second method of regulator clearing is the purge button method. To execute, you need to block the opening of the mouthpiece with your tongue and press the purge button on the outside of the second stage. This will force any water in the second stage out of the exhaust ports. Then cautiously inhale and begin breathing on scuba. Again, you must reach back to the first stage and trace the intermediate hose to the second stage and give the instructor an OK once breathing on an unvalid regulator. Buddy breathing. Buddy breathing will begin with both divers right thigh to right thigh in the seated position. This position constitutes positive control of your buddy. The stricken diver will then signal his buddy that he needs to buddy breathe by giving three slashes across his throat and three taps on a second stage. The unstricken diver will grasp his intermediate hose where it connects to his second stage. With his right hand prepared to provide air to his stricken buddy. Once the stricken diver removes his second stage, the unstricken diver will take a breath off his regulator and pass it to the stricken diver. The stricken diver will grab his buddy's right wrist with his left hand. With his right hand, he will grab his buddy's UDT vest. The unstricken diver will also grab the stricken diver's UDT vest with his left hand, which will finish forming the box required for buddy breathing. Each buddy will take two breaths off the regulator and then pass it back and forth. Once the stricken diver has went through two cycles of two breaths, he will immediately reach back and recover and clear his regulator. Both divers will trace their intermediate hoses and give an okay to each other and then to the instructor once breathing on unfouled regulators. Ditching and donning. Ditching and donning begins with the diver in the seated position. 
the diver will release his weight belt and place it on his lap. He will then grab his manifold and release his waist strap by pulling the quick release on the scuba harness. With an exaggerated motion, you will look left, look right, look up, and then slash three times over your head. While holding the manifold with one hand, pull the scuba cylinders up and over your head while guiding the tanks with your other hand. Keeping the regulator in your mouth, continuing to breathe. Place the cylinders between your legs and maintain a grip on your manifold. Remove your weight belt from your lap and place it across the scuba cylinders, ensuring the intermediate hose is clear. While holding on to the cylinders with one hand on the manifold, shift to the prone position. Remove swim fins and place them under the cylinders to prevent them from floating away. Remove your face mask and tuck it into one of your fins. Turn your cylinder valve completely off, then back a quarter turn. When directed by a safety swimmer, take a small breath and remove your regulator, placing the second stage under the manifold and secure the cylinder valve. Begin exhaling. Clear the scuba and assume an upright position. Raise one arm above your head while continuing to exhale while ascending to the surface accompanied by an instructor. Once on the surface, give a surface report. When directed by the topside instructor, take a breath and swim back to your equipment on the bottom of the pool. Grasp your manifold and place the regulator back in your mouth. Open your cylinder valve on a quarter turn and breathe normally. Trace your intermediate hose, ensuring that it is unfouled. Signal the safety diver with an OK, then turn your air all the way on and back a quarter turn, ensuring you cycle your reserve and that it is in the up position. Maintaining control of the manifold, Don your face mask and fins. Shift to a seated position as calmly and as low as possible. Place the weight belt back on your lap, ensuring that the intermediate hose is clear. Slip both arms through the shoulder straps past the elbows. Grasp the center of the scuba cylinders and move them to your chest. With an exaggerated motion, look left look right, look up, and then slash three times over your head. Maintaining the regulator in your mouth, lift the tanks up and over your head and push the tanks down onto your back. Secure the waist strap with a quick release. Next, don your weight belt around your waist. Once you have successfully donned your equipment, you will then have to conduct a five-point check. A five-point check is conducted by first turning your air all the way on and back a quarter turn. Next, cycle your reserve to make sure that it works freely and it is in the up position. Ensure both shoulder straps are secured with a quick release and have no twists. Lastly, ensure your waist strap is secured with a quick release and is not twisted. Once a five-point check is conducted, in the seated position, signal the safety diver you plan to go to your knees by slapping your thighs three times. Go to your knees smoothly, keeping a low profile. Complete a second five-point check on your knees and signal the safety diver with an OK when complete. If at any time during your five-point checks 
you need to pop a strap to fix a twist, you must return to the seated position and start your five point checks all over again.